Dear friends, do not put your hope too much in this world. And do not think that if things are going to be better, that means you will escape death or judgment or sickness. We have a little bit of good news lately. And we hear that some countries are easing restrictions. Many people are excited. But dear friends, there will be no peace on this earth. And our hope must be in Christ alone. We have lived long enough in this pandemic, in this time. And we have learned as Christians that we shouldn't put our hope in the world. I have learned not to be happy when I hear good news and not to be very sad when I hear bad news. But I learned that I should be insensitive to the news because it is God ultimately who is in control. We pray for mercy because God can give more time for repentance. However, that doesn't change the fact that we will all die one day and stand before the living God. Today, we have an opportunity to lead people to Jesus, to see the truth of the cross, where He shed His blood for their sins, so that they can come and be restored back to Him. Jesus Christ did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. Jesus wants to save every person. And today, because of what is happening, we have an opportunity to show Jesus. So we shouldn't be very happy if persecution and tribula tribulation stop. Because if that happens, then people will just go back to their lives and they will forget about Jesus, about reality. The reality that this life is temporary and that is that there is eternity waiting. What we do here will determine where we end up in eternity. Dear brother and sister, are you busy with the kingdom of God? And are you building your hope on that kingdom? Are you having your peace in Christ? Don't let your peace depend on the world because this world is inst unstable. Only God is unchanging. He doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. We have to have our rock our foundation on Jesus. That is the only way, dear friend, that you will make it. And I will make it. Do you have your foundation on Jesus Christ? And are you getting your peace and hope from your fellowship with Him? And may God bless you.